Does being passionate mean being focused on one thing to the exclusion of everything else? Nathan Patha is driven to perform as an actor and a musician and he's also pretty passionate about being a father. Krishma chatted to him about what keeps him powered up. Is on Villa Kazi Street. Two, two, two. Ah, she's so sweet. My African. Listening to Nesson Papa croon his way down a South African landmark, you could be forgiven for thinking that the angry young man has mellowed. But he can still channel his inner rapper. Gotta have a big house with five Lamborghinis and a whole lot of girls in some little bikinis, huh? And that was so crazy to think of all the things that I thought that'd make me happy. But isn't that the thing? And ain't that the rub? The higher up we go, we further from above. Now I don't confuse this with a sermon. Just like you, I'm learning, earning, trying to find my way out this furnace burning. But we were born and raised and in the city of Durban. Sometimes when I think about you and me. Think about how we used to be I'm Drinking wine, city lights in the background Trying to wrap my head around Who we used to be Who we used to be Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. You just caught us in the middle of the session. Oh, it sounds so great. Nice stuff, man. Good work, guys. Good work. Awesome work today, man. Nice work. Thank you. Cool, man. Cool, Paul. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Uh, thank you for coming. So welcome, thank you for having me. Nielsen, it sounds amazing. What are you working on? We're working on my new track. What are some of your influences? I'm influenced by a wide range of music. Um, jazz music, um, soft rock alternative, trap music, and we try and put all that together in here and create original hip hop and R&B music. Did you study music at university? I wish I did, but I didn't have that privilege to study music. Um, but I grew up uh, playing carnotic instruments, the harmonium, the tabla, and a lot of those influences are still with me. Were your parents a big influence? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, my dad passed on early, but he was a big fan of soul music, of jazz music. And uh, in my early years, I remember Nat King Cole and that kind of Teddy Pendergrass being played around the house. And that still six sticks with me. So when I hear a soul jazz song, it just really gets to me. You know? Do you write your own lyrics? Totally, everything. Can you tell us about this song? This song, I think, is actually at this point in my life right now, where I'm, I'm looking back on everything and I'm thinking about who I used to be. Each verse is about somebody or a situation or, or something that's happened, but very much uh, me looking back now and reflecting on uh, youth gone by or I don't know. <laughs> Released back in 2004, Urban Poison was Nesson's debut album. This was followed a year later by Suburban Bliss, spawning a string of hits for the 21st century artist known to his fans as 1818. Take me through some of the highlights of your career. The industry is interesting because you, you have dips and valleys all the time. Uh, but I've had some, some really great moments. I have 80,000 views of my first video. There's a couple of viral videos out there which uh, I, I'm in. Sometimes I get surprised by it myself um, because it's still circulating. I've gotten to perform at some great venues and those are some of my career highlights, yeah. You're such a busy guy here in the studio and then performing gigs late at night and congratulations, I just heard you're a father for the second time. Thank you very much. How do you manage to juggle everything? To manage it is not easy, it's a difficult job, but you know, I'm so passionate about music, I'm so passionate about my family, I wouldn't sacrifice either, you know. Uh, and uh, speaking of which, do you want to meet my family? I'd love to. Nesson met his wife-to-be, the multi-talented Kajal Miraj, on the set of Kumar and Naidu's Run For Your Life 2. According to the couple, their relationship started out as a Facebook friendship before becoming more serious. And they were married in 2010. Nesson and Kajal now have two sons, and Karishma would be joining the family at one of their favourite spots to share some quality time. Hi, this is my wife, Kajal. Hi, Kajal. Hi, Kajal. Hi, Kajal. Hi, Kajal. Are you guys enjoying the fish? Yeah, he is especially. Hey. This is so. Uh, this is pie. Hi. Should we go see some sharks? Okay, let's go do it. When you're safe in the arms of mummy and daddy, not even a predator's pearly white bite will scare you. I'm married to the beautiful Kajal Mirage. How did you guys meet? We met on set um, of a film that we'd worked on many years back and uh, yeah, we've been inseparable ever since. You play a married couple in Marital Blitz. What was it like playing a married couple on stage and being a married couple in real life? Well, it, it was quite seamless, the transition. <laughs> you know, we, I mean, we were newlyweds at the time and we were really enjoying the whole thing. To be working with your spouse and your partner is lovely. 
the arrival of his sons has seen Nesson shift gears professionally, putting his work as an entertainer on the back burner and focusing more on his career as a business executive. How has being a dad changed your life? It's been absolutely incredible. It's uh, exhausting, tiring, very rewarding, um, but it's also challenging. I think every day you're forced to be the best version of yourself. Um, I find myself in charge of two young gentlemen who one day will impact the world in great ways and I just, I just want to be a part of that and you learn so much from them every day. What would you do if either one of your sons came to you and said, Dad, I want to get into music? I will be absolutely thrilled. We'll get him in the studio immediately. We'll get a nice producer behind him, develop his sound and get him out there. That sounds adorable. I actually cannot wait to see that. Yeah, I think we'll start a little band with them. Nesson, where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully just continuing to make music that's relevant, making a greater impact on the musical society and society at large. What advice could you give young artists? I think a lot of artists today are, uh, are focused on the wrong thing. Uh, they focus on their popularity or their fame. And the most important thing in, in music is to, to concentrate on the craft. Concentrate on becoming a better instrumentalist, becoming a better producer, becoming a great songwriter, listening, being out there. And I think that's the most important thing I could give to any of them is learn your craft, perfect it. And secondly, be, be yourself, be your own identity. Now, I've yeah. seen you in the studio. But I know you love performing live, so what do you love about it? I think the best thing about performing live is, is performing to an audience that can immediately react to you. And we've set up this little gig, um, there's a few people here and we just want to get some feedback from them of, of our new song, this new acoustic thing that we're doing and yeah, you should come along, let's Can't check it out. Can't wait to hear it, let's go. What you do is rare, what you do is unparalleled, you say I'm into deep and not our second dad. Hesson has moved on since his 1818 days, expanding his horizons as an artist and individual. But he can still engage an audience with the insight that comes from experience. Girl, I keep coming back. I never met anyone like you. And that's a fact. Did to me. Did to me. <laughs> Always rejecting me. <laughs> I could be a Rolling Stones. I could be a Snow Patrol. I could be a champion.